Hey guys, it's Britt and I just wanted to do a little sit down chat with all of you again. Ah, just some life updates. So I started new medication and that's been going well. I think this marks my fifth week on my new medication and it's, it's, my body hasn't completely adjusted to it, but it's a work in progress and I am beginning to feel a lot better with this new medication. So, uh, I know what you're all thinking. I actually put effort into my appearance today. <laughs> yes, um, I did. Uh, I just felt like doing it. I desperately want a haircut, but don't want to go out uh, during the pandemic and get it cut. So it, it's going to unfortunately stay this way until I feel like it is safe enough to go out and get a haircut because my stylist, um, uh, her mother is very high risk. I, I want to be respectful of that. Though, wearing a mask could just solve that solution, I suppose. But, uh, yes, so I have been reading quite a bit during this pandemic, as most of you probably have. And thrillers have been a big part of my reading. Though, I suppose that's not all that different from my usual reading um, because I, I do tend to read a lot of thrillers though I have found actually as I alluded to in my previous video where you saw my face I really am quite the fan of Arlie Sagar and I said I wanted to read Home Before Dark by Riley Sagar. Um, and I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to start that probably sometime next week, which is uh, it's the 12th of August. Er, August? No, it's, it's not the 12th of August. It's the 12th of November. I know some of you are probably asking yourselves, Brit, why are you not partaking in National Novel Writing Month? And that is simply because I don't want to. I don't want that sort of pressure. And me and NaNoWriMo have never ever been friends. <laughs> no harm to anybody who wants to participate in NaNoWriMo. If that's your thing, if it helps you be productive, perfect. Whatever works for you. Fine. It, however, does not unfortunately work for me as much as I would like it to. Um, let's see. The pup is sleeping next to me. I don't know if you can hear him snoring. But Thor is doing well. Um, and sorry this is kind of all over the place, but I wanted to give you a little Thor update and say that he, he is doing well. Uh, his training is progressing. It's slow, but it's progress and that's the best thing I could ask for is is he's progressing and we're doing it at our pace and the pandemic of course has slowed down what we're doing quite a bit but that's okay because I don't want to rush him into things that he is not ready for and risk washing him out completely. So 
so uh, for those of unfamiliar with that, Thor is my service dog in training. He's a golden retriever. Very, very cute boy. Very good boy. Um, I'm also in the process of, uh, I know you can't see it really in this merry corner of my bedroom, but I am working on redecorating my room because it has not had a redecoration since middle school, probably. And I want to change things up. I, w I want to make it a little bit more me. So that's that. Um, what else did I want to say? I'm not sure what I wanted to say. I just, I wanted to make another video, I guess. Um, that wasn't related to writing. Because as, as I said in the last video that you saw my face in, uh, I didn't want to get monotonous and I also didn't want it to feel like I was just selling you guys books. That was never the purpose of my channel and that's not what I want it to become. I don't want it to feel like an ad. And uh, quite honestly, I've been in a bit of a creative rut and I'm not quite sure how to shake it. Um, and it's made me feel quite bad, to be honest with all of you, but once I figure out a way to shake it, I am going to start making the Write With Me videos again, um, and yeah, it's you know, 2020 has been an interesting year, to say the least. And I know that 2020 has shake, shaken up a lot of what people uh, perceive as normal. And that's, that's okay. Um, I was hoping that by now, the my current work in progress would be out, but it's not. Uh, due to this creative rut, um, I was hoping to have a lot more out by now, and it's just not working out right now, and I, I don't really know why it's not that I'm not motivated or that I a lack of wanting, it's that I just feel, I don't know how to describe it, I just feel stuck right now. And I, it's not even that I'm not excited to write it, because I'm very excited to write it. And I love the characters, and I, I love it, but for whatever reason, whenever I go and sit down to write, it's like, oh, I, I feel weighed down and like nobody's going to be interested in it and that I'm just wasting my time, really, to be honest. That, and I know that that's not the case. That's mostly in my brain. I'm just having a bunch of anxiety issues and Hopefully, the medication can work that out, I hope, at least. And I hope that it doesn't, that my channel doesn't feel like it's just becoming an ad for books. Because, I mean, like I alluded to before, it's, it's never been that for me, the purpose of this channel was to be lively and uh, just share with you guys what I was reading and I, I feel like I want to get back into that 
but with this creative rut and me kind of feeling self-conscious about my appearance to be honest um i just have not been able to do that and i want to be when i come on here i want to be in a good headspace and i i don't want to weigh you guys down with you know with stuff uh, i want it to be a joyous place Sorry, this video is a bit of a downer, or I guess it's not really a downer, it's just, you know, me coming on here and expressing a bit of a rut. <sighs> yeah. But, hopefully, I will bounce back soon, and whenever that is, I'll see you in the next video. Home Before Dark by Riley Sagar. The read along will be taking off next week. I'm going to sit down and uh, at least get one or two chapters done a week. I'll make that a vlog. I'll have notes. It'll it'll be a lot of hopefully fun for all of you. So until next time, guys. Love you, and I'll see you in the next video.